Okay, what's up, guys? As of one hour ago, Kawhi wants out of San Antonio Spurs. All right. What does Woj say? San Antonio's Kawhi Leonard has Los Angeles, preferably the Lakers, at the center of his preferences in a trade. But remember, uh, Kyrie Irving had his preferences too last year, didn't he? He didn't get traded to either of them. These guys think they have all the control in the world. They think they're God. They don't control where they go. You might go to Orlando, buddy. Uh, we got more and more. Kawhi Leonard wants to be traded from Spurs. We are at a Lakers workout right now, by the way. <clears throat> Magic Johnson just ran off the court. <laughs> oh boy, this is funny, huh? Um, Jimmy Butler doesn't want to play with Wiggins. Considered requesting a trade. Tyus Jones. Uh, Kawhi Leonard isn't concerned about missing out on the Supermax. There's a feeling of betrayal at this juncture. Appears irreparable. All right. There are more than a few teams that can offer a better package for to San Antonio for Kawhi than the Knicks can, assuming they don't include Porzingis. But people close to Leonard have expressed a desire for Leonard to play in New York. People close to Leonard, including his uncle and Kyrie Irving's father. Fact. All right, this is the plan. The plan from the uncle and Kyrie Irving's father who live 10 minutes away, as we've discussed many times, in South Orange and West Orange, New Jersey, right across the river. That's the reason, uh, Ky this is the dream, guys. Kyrie Irving, this is the dream from the uncle and the father anyway. Okay, Leonard might want to go to the Lakers himself. And uh, this is why last summer Kyrie Irving had the Spurs on his list. It wasn't because he wanted to go to the Spurs. It was because it was the uncle and the father who said, man, it'd be really good to have these guys together. They could go to, they should go to the Spurs together. Just put the Spurs on your list just for the fun of it, even though you really want to go to the Knicks, Kyrie. But anyway, guys, this is the plan. This is why Kyrie is so uh, resistant to saying anything positive about the Celtics and saying that it would be nice to be here in the long term if it works out, because he doesn't. And it sounds like they both want to go to New York, or at least their father's father figures do. And, uh, and the other thing is, you know, so Woj came out with the article two days ago and he said, hey, Kawhi's got to Kawhi's got to take some responsibility here. Kawhi can't just play this poor victim act after he just stole 19 million dollars and be a cry bully, a manipulative scumbag. And and Kawhi's at Kawhi's reaction instead of showing any degree of self-awareness and self-accountability and self-criticism. Him and his uncle are like, oh, hell no, we didn't do nothing, right? Same old ignorant routine, uh, straight out of Compton, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I even had someone in my comment section yesterday say, how can you say Kawhi Leonard stole $19 million from the Spurs last year when that money was guaranteed? Right? Like, because Kawhi signed a guaranteed contract, he had no responsibility to play for the Spurs if healthy. That's that. That's that attitude. That uh, that's that attitude that drives a lot of people nuts. Rightfully so, you know. It's like, it's almost like, man, if you wanted me to play, you should have paid me after I did the work. You know. So just totally untrustworthy. Anybody who has that attitude, obviously. And you know, if if the Spurs had offered Kawhi Leonard that supermax contract, and not asked that he show some sort some sort of level of self-awareness and accept some accountability for what happened last year all these all these uh all these all these supporters of Kawhi Leonard would have been saying man he didn't have to play he didn't have to play at all for all five years to earn that 220 million dollars that money was guaranteed keeping it real when keeping it real goes wrong so now Kawhi Leonard could get traded anywhere I still think the 76ers have the best trade package, but clearly, and you know, but not only are Kawhi Leonard's uncle's fingerprints all over this, but also Dredrick Irving, Kyrie Irving's father, fingerprints all over this. And this is exactly the kind of shenanigans that 
um, you can expect from Kyrie Irving this season. If he if he uh, if he gets a boo boo on his pinky, he's he, he'll sit out if he wants to. You know, if he's not playing, if he's not averaging twenty five points a game, uh, he'll sit out. If he's if he's got an ever so slight injury and it's holding him back a little bit, but he's still capable of playing twenty five minutes a game, but he's only averaging eighteen nineteen points a game, even though it's exactly what the Celtics need is just 18, 19 points a game and, and be a distributor, he'll sit out. They'll play all these games, just like just like Kyrie and his, and his father last year threatened the Cavs and said, hey, we'll sit out. We'll sit out the whole season and get this surgery done if you don't trade us. <sighs> so anyway, guys, that's the story. Kawhi Leonard, totally toxic. Any team that trades for him is utterly moronic which is exactly why Magic Johnson's so excited to try to trade for this guy. He'll trade anybody. He'll ruin that whole team chemistry. Uh, he'll alienate Brandon Ingram. Uh, that's that's the only guy I'm worried about alienating. But, uh, you know, why would you want to trade a guy who can accept zero, zero responsibility for his own behavior last year, for sitting out healthy, for not even supporting his team in the playoffs, and then trying to chase after this supermax contract and pretend that he really wants to be in 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 san antonio which he never did the plan was always to just demand a trade in one year they just wanted to get that money they made it perfectly clear they were not happy in san antonio and these morons absolute morons Kawhi and his uncle and Kyrie and his father too you know that they were Kawhi and his uncle were so distraught over only being offered a six million dollar a year contract that they basically forced themselves out of San Antonio who could have and were willing to pay him $220 million. Right? And all he had to do is be a good soldier. But he couldn't do it. And not only could he not do it, he had to steal $19 million from the Spurs. And then he had to, uh, and then he had to demand a trade. So he'd rather be anywhere than the San Antonio freaking Spurs for this last year. Just like Kyrie last year would rather be anywhere than competing for a championship and possibly winning a title with LeBron James. And what did what did uh, Kyrie Irving say when he went on uh, uh, Stephen A. Smith's show, First Take? He said, all I'm focused on, all I care about right now is perfecting my craft. Like, winning's got nothing to do with it. Competition's got nothing to do with it. It's all about per- perfecting his street ball, Harlem Globetrotter, uh, isolation, tunnel vision, antisocial basketball moves that make good highlights and that help his brand, which is what this uh, Uncle Drew movie was all about, making a movie rather than uh, resting up and healing his knee or taking care of the surgery he needs. So mad, so the Lakers will go after Kawhi stupidly, and maybe the 76ers will go after uh, Kawhi, I would say probably stupidly at this point. Probably stupidly at this point. They're going to trade half their team, all their good chemistry guys. And uh, Brian Colangelo, as shady as he is, I think he was right uh, in being concerned about the chemistry in the locker room and the whole attitude because he got so much maturity with you know Joe, a young Joel Embiid. And now you got Ben Simmons dating a Kardashian rather than working on his jump shot. And now you're going to trade Dario Saric. Now you're going to trade Robert Covington. What, are you going to throw in TJ McConnell too just to make sure the chemistry is total trash next year? Anyway, guys, uh, that's the news. Kawhi Leonard demanding a trade rather than accept any accountability whatsoever and apologize on any level. You criticize these delicate snowflakes at all and point out the obvious to them about the flaws in their behavior. And uh, and they shrivel up and cry. So now he's demanding a trade. We will see where it goes. I think he wants to go to the Lakers, though. That's his hometown. Why would he want, you know, the Knicks, the, his uncle wants him to go to the Knicks. But so would any Knicks fan, right? And uh, it's just like Kyrie Irving. His, un- his father is a huge Knicks fan all his life. And uh, I suppose Kyrie is at this point, too. But, uh... Yeah, we will see. All right, guys, take it easy.